don't get surgery. I don't care who I piss off. What's up guys, Trev, Smashworks, bringing you all the good stuff for free. You know how it works, real hacks, real results. Always the same thing, taking care of you guys. All right, so today I'm gonna be going through an entire shoulder routine that was a phase two for a really, really good friend of mine. And I realized that a lot of the things that people are doing when it comes to taking care of their shoulders, they're all based on after a grenade goes off in the joint, in the relationship, in the diet. What I'm gonna start focusing on for the next couple of months is taking care of the problem and then giving you all the tools to prevent it from ever coming back. So basically I wanna make you guys indestructible. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to rehab a shoulder issue that's just been stagnant. It doesn't matter what you do, the shoulder's always burning, the shoulder's always clicking, but more importantly, no matter what you've done, you're waking up with it in pain, you're at the end of your rope, and you're about to go under the knife for something that probably doesn't need it. Don't get surgery. I don't care who I piss off, Hit me in the comments with all the reasons for surgery. None of them are gonna be valid unless your shoulder is detached and you have to stick it the fuck back on. So here's the issue. The shoulder collapses when you treat it like anything other than the way it's designed. When you put it through ranges of motion that aren't exploiting what the shoulder's capable of doing. When you, when you load it in a way that's not going to exploit the strength of the shoulder, that's not gonna build the strength of the shoulder. And that all comes down to one thing. People being afraid to do what's necessary to help their friends, their patients, their clients, their customers, because they don't want to do what's outside the box. Don't worry about your board. Don't worry about some license that says you can or can't do it. Do what you're supposed to do to help people you love and care about and do it for yourself, because I promise you this, nobody's coming to help you unless you help yourself. Well, if you're not strengthening everything around that joint complex, nothing's gonna work. If you aren't symmetrical in how you pull across the joint, and if you're not training your brain neurologically to take advantage of that new range of motion and load it, because just because you can move something in a range of motion doesn't mean that it's functional. In other words, full range of motion under load, that's proper joint function. Unilateral Cuban press, remember we Cuban press is we pull up into the scarecrow position, right? So unilateral, we're gonna do it one side. The reason we wanna do it on one side at a time is because you can't, you can't piggyback off the range of motion of the other joint. This is the beginning. We're gonna take our hand, we're gonna bring it up. Then we're gonna externally rotate. So I am parallel to the floor, my forearm is perpendicular to the floor, right? So I come up, externally rotate, turn the hand, press up in a V, come back down, all the way to the side. Yeah, it's this last little bit that nobody does. You're gonna have a tendency to do this. This isn't helping anything. You wanna imagine turning your scapula out and dropping it into the back pockets. So from the side, we're gonna come up, externally rotate, it's keeping that position, up in that V, back down, all the way to the side. This gets much worse. You're gonna feel this in such funky places, by the way. You can just, just wrap around in the band. All right, so again, behind the back, we're gonna come up. Right now I'm loading, so this is taking much more effort. And then I'm gonna externally rotate, and then press up, back down, down, and down. So from the front, remember, if you can't do the one before this, don't do this one yet. So we're gonna come up, I'm loading the band. Externally rotate, press up, come back down, all the way down and then to the side. Now, I did a post with my wife a while back, you guys, about the importance of the unilateral row, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So unilateral row is just one hand doing the row. I want you to come off the pull up bar. It's better for you to have that angle because your angle of attack is gonna determine the difficulty of the movement. The greater the angle, the more difficult the movement, right? Follow me on that one? I take my hand and put it behind my back. I take a wide stance. It doesn't matter where your legs are. I just want them to be comfortable. And then I'm gonna try and keep this ring. If you don't have a ring, you can use TRX bands. If you don't have TRX bands, use a rope. I don't care what you use, as long as you can hang on to it. Build it, it doesn't matter what it is. You wanna have it doing this, not this. See how, if you're gonna default to swing into the middle like that, don't do that. So hand behind you, knees bent, wider stance, 
And it doesn't matter where you are. I just want you to be able to do this. Pull, and then all the way back, when you get to this position, protract the scapula. Retract, pull. All the way out, protract, retract, pull. You're gonna go from here, nice and tall. You're gonna be laying down, face down. You're gonna come out, spin. There, spin. Hand behind you, hand overhead, right? And then we're gonna, I know you can't see it, but just imagine. So we're gonna come all the way, spin, all the way, spin, all the way. Face down, palm up. You're gonna bring this out. I'm gonna bring the minion out just a little bit so I got more, more to dodge. Palm up, right? So we're gonna be proning. I'm gonna come up right to where he is. I'm gonna rotate up, over, all the way overhead. Now I reverse. See what I'm doing here? I wanna to come to full overhead position. I'm gonna go all the way to the, to the minion, rotate into supination, up and over, all the way to overhead position, come back to the minion, pronate, and then all the way to my side. Now you follow? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your forearm perpendicular to your torso. On your side, I'm not that concerned about where your feet are, just none of this kind of stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm not sinking into my shoulder. I'm gonna come down this way. I'm not sinking into it. I'm actively pushing myself away with the joint. Stay like that, 100 years, two minutes. Wound up, external rotation, corkscrew that. Use a light weight. All I'm doing is I'm gonna roll and push up. That's it, I'm not even coming up with my shoulder. I wanna focus just on the shoulder. I don't care what my torso is doing right now. And then all the way back, all the way up, push hard, 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 hard. And then back down. You're gonna have a tendency to do this. See what's happening? It's at an angle, don't do that. So imagine, loaded, right? Push away, up hard, and then back down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to just a partial push up. That's it. So make sure you absorb. You're not, you're not landing. You're not landing with a stiff arm. What we're gonna do is walk all the way around using only our hands and our feet are stationary in a plank. And then you're gonna do it the other way. So one round is 360 one direction, 360 the other direction. Or get in your plank position. Nice and tight, modified plank. So nice and wide. That's it. All right, guys, listen. You want strong shoulder, it all takes work. So you gotta be willing to put the time in. This is three times a week, and this is eight to 10, 12, 16, 18, 20 weeks. This is gonna take time, but when you're done, you're gonna be doing things that nobody else can do because your shoulders feel great, all right? So if you like this video, smash the like button. I love you guys, I'm gonna go have some dinner. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, hit YouTube, hit this video, share it with your friends. I love you guys.